Jet 24, here's meteorologist Jacob Matthews, your weather authority. Hey, good evening and happy Sunday. Take a look at this screen right here. Channel Locks weather camera showing some sunny but hazy conditions over in Conneaut Lake. Overall, it's pretty dry and pleasant, seeing people out on the lake enjoying their time. Water also looks pretty calm over there, not many uh, dangerous waves. I kind of wish I was there right now. It looks really nice. And we're seeing some nice conditions throughout the rest of the area. We may see some rain showers down in Texas as well as Florida, but if we zoom into our area, not seeing any drops of rain as picked up by radar. Seeing just some dry weather, not just in Erie, but also over in Warren and in Cleveland. And this is all thanks to this high pressure system that is now making its way into the region. Though it's not going to eventually move any active weather out of the way. We could see a few showers building up for the start of this week, but as of now we're dealing with some dry and a bit of hazy weather in our area, which can be seen on the visible satellite imagery right there. Now taking a look at the future cast, we are seeing those uh, chances of uh, rain developing just to our north for early Monday morning and it could bring in a few sprinkles in the mountains region, but it will likely be way out to our east and we'll just be dealing with some uh, a few clouds as well as uh, lots of sunshine for much of monday and for tuesday we'll see some sunshine as well but we may see a few more clouds building up in some warmer conditions as well with those winds blowing in from the south this could lead to uh, maybe a a um, bigger chance of rain showers for Tuesday that will likely be in effect for inland mountains, but as for Lake Shore, it looks pretty good. And we've seen a high of 69 today here in Erie and a low of 51 earlier this morning. Rain showers have not seen them for today, that's good news, and the yearly total right now over 18 inches. And temperatures as of now across Erie County, weather watchers gave us 68 for Penn State Barron, down in Edinburgh 68 as well, Cory 67, overall all 60s and low 70s down south in Crawford County. Cities like Meadville and Cambridge or Franklin, we're seeing them in the low 70s. Cambridge Springs over is at 67 degrees right now. And if we go out to the east in Warren County, Youngsville, Chandler's Valley, 70 degrees with Warren at 69. And we're going to see those temperatures drop down to possibly the upper 40s, maybe even 50 degrees along the lake shore. Mostly clear for tonight. High pressure remains in control, going to give us lots of dry weather inland as well. Mostly clear, not too cold. Temperatures not dropping in the 30s at all anywhere, so you won't have to worry about protecting your plants outside because there's not going to be any frost out there. So that's some pr pretty good news for tonight. Lots of clear skies for tonight and uh, some pretty warm temperatures as well for tonight as well. But we're going to see those temperatures eventually kicking up to the 70s. So it's going to be even more warm for tomorrow. 69 over on the lake shore. Could see a few chances of showers m Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to be a very slight chance. Broken clouds overall. Lots of sunshine afterwards. A bit breezy Thursday. Temperatures only the in the low 60s. But Overall, a very dry and pleasant weekend. And in the words of a famous Disney character in the Incan Empire, oh yeah, it's all coming together.